Thank you, Madam Chair. I think that uh, I appreciate the uh, effort uh, in the educational uh, community. Uh, it's been a discussion going on for, I think, three decades. The space program, however, will be either successful or non unsuccessful within the next 60 months. Uh, the verbal expression of commitment to the space program is basically inadequate. Without national commitment of money and tangible enthusiasm from the executive branch, we will send a message of confusion and indecision to our scientific community. Mr. Augustine said it best when he said, get in or get out. It's unfair to the astronauts, it's unfair to the scientific community, and it is unfair to those children who have an interest in science that we're trying to attract into this absolutely vital, vital part of not only our economy, but the uh, development of science for science's sake. I appreciate the concept that maybe we could use this as a diplomatic effort, and I would love to see that as a sideline, but basically this is research and development. America represents 5% of the world's population. 95% live somewhere else. We have seen the benefits of NASA, human spaceflight. It has been proven to us over and over again that this has to be a national commitment and leadership has got to come out of the executive branch. We are, in fact, in a space race to the moon with the Chinese, and we have not decided to put a team on the court yet. What better opportunity than the successful launch of Ares 1X to segue into a national announcement that we are now committed to the moon in 2020, 2019, 2018? What better opportunity have we had to say to America's children, science and math is cool? What better opportunity? Imagine had we spent the time that we have spent on cap and trade, stimulus, health care, had we spent that on science, education, and the development of our human spaceflight program. We would be sitting here today feeling very, very good. Today, we are very, very anxious. I must tell you that my district is Marshall Space Flight Center. I'm an oncologist. I took care of many of the pioneers. And uh, I have seen firsthand in medicine all of the things that NASA has done, the development of these unusually uh, specific and special little instruments that we are now able to not only save lives but re reduce morbidity and increase uh, early diagnosis. So there's no question that the scientific community has benefited the rest of America and the rest of the world greatly. We can no longer, we can no longer discuss this. This needs to be a commitment from the executive branch and the leadership of Congress. If we, de if we delay it, we are playing into the hands of our competitors, and we as America want to win. We are winners. Uh, might ask this one question. If we delay this Constellation project, if we, you know, no decision and indecision is in fact a decision. Mm -hmm. So if we are making a decision to either delay or not make a decision, what's the effect of this on our community and the culture that we have developed in human spaceflight in America over the last four, four decades. <coughs> Any, anybody? Yeah, let, let me take that as a very specific example. They said we're right in the middle of, of uh, starting to execute the contracts that we have on the, on the Constellation program. We've hired about 100 new engineers and uh, technicians in Buffalo to, to support this program. If there's a break in the program, we're going to have to lay off the substantial majority of those people. And so what message does that pass? Passes the message along is that we're not serious about doing this. And trying to hire other people on later on, people would not be interested. So I think, you've, you, it, as, I, as, as I said at the end of my uh, testimony, you're at a very, very critical decision point, probably more critical than, than it's been in the last 15 or 20 years. Because the decisions that have been made in the last 15 or 20 years have been we kind of work on a little and we delay it. We work on a little more and we delay it. And you've come to the end with the space shuttle in terms of what you can safely fly. 
So it's now or never. This is the time.